So White has three, Blues lead by 23, and they go forward again. Hardy and lost his feet, got the ball, Betts, slap, brilliant, Walker, genius, Blues get another! Just see Garlic, Betts lurking around, they're starting to get their structures, that's what makes Betts so great. If he's not kicking goals, he's setting up, and that's mercurial talent. Gibbs, incidentally, the third highest possession winner for the Blues, and they might have another opportunity here. Casbolt kicked the last goal. Could he kick one from the impossible angle? Impossible is nothing. The sort of backline have been traumatised. In, in all honesty, they just are not, they can't spoil it correctly. Their recovery is poor. And uh, when you can kick goals like that from, out, from right on the junction of the 50 and the boundary line, that's um, outstanding. Desperate for the football, equally so. Hooker did well. Now to Dempsey on a bit of a burst, takes a bounce. Casbolt the chaser. Casbolt closes. Outstanding from Casbolt. He's had a big afternoon. Simpson, Robinson deserves a goal over the top weight. How will this settle? Banana ball. Ah, oh, this is just fabulous from the Blues. Casbolt started it. Garland finishes it. No matter what Essendon do when they come out of the back line under pressure, they don't have a set target. Because every time they look up, Carlton have a, an extra player roaming across the half forward line or Essendon's half forward line. And it, what it does, it confuses the Essendon players to not kick it to a one on two. So they try to carry the ball a bit further, and hence they get caught like that. It was a wonderful chaser.